What if I told you you could absolutely make a full-time living selling on eBay? You could also do it without having to work full-time hours. However, 99% of eBay sellers will never experience this because they are making far too many mistakes with their eBay business. So in today's video, what I want to do is break down the seven reasons why I believe most eBay sellers won't make a full-time living. Now I've been selling on eBay for the last four years. So a lot of these mistakes have come from my own personal experiences. And the first one is a big one. I've been focusing on a store size rather than I'm focusing on my average sales per day, which sounds silly, but I always thought that the bigger the store is, the more chance you'd have of selling as many items as possible. And I've come to realize it's more about average sale price and sell through rate. And I've worked really hard over the last 12 months to try and strip out as many items as I possibly can that don't fit those two metrics. So a lot of cheap 10 to $15 DVDs have been removed over the last few months. And we've gone from a 2,800 item store down to a 1,200 item store. So a really big shift. And our next phase of this efficiency process is to work on sell through rate. And a really great ratio for you to work off for your own store is to try and get one sale for every 100 active listings that you have in store. So for me, I've got 1,200 active listings. We should be doing 12 sales a day and we're not we're only doing eight sales a day. So I'm trying to work on ways that we can improve that number of average sales per day to get it up to 12. And what we're doing is we're going back to our 1200 listings and we're looking at the value. We're looking at our listing price for that item and we're going back in and we're checking sold comps to see whether or not it's actually an attractive price point. And a lot of the times we've realized that it isn't. It's not that we've got a bad product, it's just that we've unfortunately priced it incorrectly at some point down the line from when we previously listed it. So we're manipulating that to make it more attractive and sit better. And then we're also updating titles. Titles are such a big focus for SEO. Um, so search engine optimization, front ending the most important keywords at the front of the title. Um, that'll get the item found. And then we've got a more attractive price point. That'll get the item sold. So these full-time eBay sellers, they've been aware of it for ages and they are only focusing on those metrics. They are getting really nice turnover of stock, one sale for every hundred items in store and they're turning over at a much higher average sale price, which is something that I'm trying to increase to $40. That's the number that we're shooting for, and we're almost there. Um, so it's not so much about quality, sorry, it is all about quality. Uh, it's not so much about quantity. Don't, you don't have to build the biggest castle, you just have to build a really, really nice house. All right, this next one is a very, very important answer. Is this glass of water half full or half empty? Whatever it was, no thought about it. What did you first think? Whatever it was, put it into the comments. Was it positive or was it negative? Because that is ultimately what you were answering. Do you have that positive frame of mind or are you more a little bit more negative and pessimistic? Because as an eBay seller, I think pessimism and negativity, negative thoughts and a negative mindset towards eBay uh, is a large thing that holds people back from giving their all and working super, super hard on making it what they wanna be. Thrift store prices are constantly increasing. Even I've found some frustrations with that and I'm an incredibly optimistic person. Um, obviously the postage prices have been going up over the last few months, that's really tough. And then a lot of people seem to be complaining about eBay fees. That one though, I can't really get my head around. A couple of examples to hopefully soften the blow with regards to eBay fees for you guys. Um, say we had a brick and mortar store. You know, you're paying the lease, you've got people coming through on foot traffic, they haven't even bought an item yet and you've got all of these out of pocket expenses. Let's go ahead and create a website for ourselves and then let's go ahead and market Google, Facebook, TikTok ads to try and draw traffic into our website. We still haven't even had a sale yet in both of these examples. Yet eBay, after a subscription fee, don't get me wrong, there is a small cost to set it up. But after that, we can market to millions of people and then they can go ahead and buy the item and then we go ahead and we pay our advertising fee of 15% and that goes to eBay. When you look at it in that frame of mind, how could you not think that it is one of the best ways to be able to sell online? It's incredible. At the marketing, the customer base is already there for us. eBay does it for us. And we give them a 15% clip and say, thanks for finding me a customer. I just think it's a bizarre mentality to have that negative pessimistic mindset around people that are complaining about fees. I don't think the eBay fee discussion needs to happen. And I also think you need to get around promoted listings. For just an extra 3%, our store sees 66% of our sales. Now, if you've got this negative mindset around fees and the whole process, you're probably not gonna do that promoted listing. You're not gonna see that 66% in sales and you're not gonna obviously become a full-time seller, but you're probably even just gonna go run away from eBay itself uh, because you're not seeing sales come through. Promoted listings are crucial. Paying, paying to play is ultimately what you have to do. 
um, but it's a, much be it's a much better way to pay to play on eBay than it is on any other process. Now, the next reason that stops us from being full-time sellers, I believe, is that we just simply don't know what we're doing. There is a very, very steep learning curve when it comes to selling on eBay, and we don't have really anyone to bounce off or lean off or gain advice from. Sure, there's people like myself on YouTube, bunch of YouTube eBay sellers that are going out and making picking-related videos. It's obviously the most entertaining thing to watch and, and absorb, so you sit there and you find yourself watching after watching a lot of picking-related content, and that's what you go out and try and replicate. You go out to try and find the items that they do, but ultimately you then bring it home, you create yourself a death pile because you don't really know the fundamentals of how to go about selling it and getting the return of all of that great find that you've had out in the thrift or the flea or wherever you may have been. Um, so for me, I've really shifted my focus away from thrifting. I'm trying to actually spend more time here in the garage of everything I spoke of in point number one, um, just working on the existing items that I've got in my store to actually get them to transact. But that's because I've had four years of experience and I would have really loved a way to fast track that learning curve and to know what I needed to do sooner rather than later. And that's why I'm now offering these mentoring phone calls where I can get you on a call and I can lay out exactly what you need to do. I can create a roadmap for you and say, just go ahead and work on that and you'll get to your goals a whole lot quicker. So the links in the bio for that one, I just think learning and experience and mentorship is a really great way to fast track it. And the full-time sellers or anyone generally in business has got someone that they can learn off. So I'm more than happy to help. Now, getting back to that negative mindset that we spoke of earlier, a lot of people actually just get scared. They're in fear of the numbers associated to an eBay business. And that makes sense. Business numbers are so much different to obviously working a nine to five and just being handed a paycheck. How do you actually work out what money is yours and what money is still business related expenses? Well, it comes back to creating a spreadsheet, a very, very basic spreadsheet that I've got here on screen. You can just go ahead and screen grab this and make a copy of it yourself. Uh, and then you just plug in the uh, data that comes along with eBay when you sell an item. The cost of the goods, the fees, the postage, whatever's left over is yours from a true profit perspective. And this little tab on Excel would be able to give you all of that information in one quick look. Now, a lot of people don't do that. I don't understand why they don't do that. It isn't as scary and daunting as you think, especially when you're first starting out with just a few items. Um, and then it can grow from there and you can start to get some accounting software later on down the line if you need to. But in the very beginning stages, um, that's what stops you obviously from going to full time. You just don't have your head around the numbers. You're wasting money um, and you're not realizing it as well because you're buying all this stock that isn't selling. It's soaking up into cost of goods and then you're not seeing it actually return in sales. And the spreadsheet will tell you that if you had it set up. Now this next one I think about a lot, but I don't actually express through this YouTube channel very much, but it is a very, very important crucial aspect to growing as an eBay seller, to becoming full time, to ultimately just have success in anything in life. Um, it is mindset, and we spoke about that a little bit earlier, but it is a really, really nice wrapped up uh, quote from Jim Rohn here, who was a motivational speaker in the US. And he said, uh, his quote was, act as if you are. Act as if you are whatever you want to be. So if it's a full-time eBay seller, you should be acting like a full-time eBay seller today. The only thing standing between you and being that full-time seller is volume. You know, if you source one item and you sell one item, that same process is just replicated 100 times over, and then you've got the volume of sales to be a full-time seller. So do the processes, act as if you are. Um, you see guys like Kobe Bryant, you see guys like Conor McGregor, I'm very much obsessed with these guys. Um, they go about this abundance mindset and they go about this attack towards their goal with complete positivity and understanding of what they need to do. And then they just triple down and they obsess over it until they achieve what they want to achieve. They sacrifice a lot. And I think back to when I first started, I certainly did that. I just ghosted everything in life. And I just put my head down for 18 months and I learned what I had to do and then I actioned it. And uh, it was that mindset of just act as if you are. If you want this, this is what you need to do to achieve it. And then sure enough, we're sitting here four years later and we're still plugging away at trying to build this thing up. So it has worked. Um, you know, I think a lot of us don't act as if we are. We don't list up consistently. Uh, we don't get back to the customer service questions efficiently. We're maybe not sending off best offers. We're fearing our numbers, so we never create and, and go through our finances like we should. We don't act as though we're a full-time seller, even though that we want to be. One more example around this, which I think is important to wrap it all up. You've got the Olympics going on at the moment. These guys that won a gold medal, they had to train their entire lives as a gold medalist to get their gold medal. And then they're recognized as a gold medal Olympian. Yet I could have told you back when they were 10 years of age, they had the mindset that they already were a gold medal Olympian. It just hadn't been realized yet. So that's a very, very powerful thing to think about. You know, what can you do as an eBay seller now 
that puts you in this frame of mind that you already are a full-time seller and then it just becomes a matter of time before you actually are on paper. Now, even if you want it badly enough, you just might not have the time. A lot of these full-time eBay sellers have got into a position where they have the freedom to be able to simply work on their craft. So if you have any amount of time up your sleeve, maybe you've been made redundant from a job or maybe because you're between jobs or maybe you're thinking, look, I'm just gonna go all in on eBay or on part-time, whatever your circumstance is, whatever allotment of free time you have, you need to go back to that Kobe Bryant uh, mindset of just getting it after it and attacking the process to get the job done, not wasting any minutes because time is unfortunately a crippling aspect to being able to grow as an eBay seller because we've got just so much going on in our life. So to actually carve out enough hours in the day to grow this thing um, is really, really tricky. So I can understand that that is a really, really limiting process and it might actually just ultimately halt people altogether. Um, you might not have the time to devote to it and that can be almost a concern where you would have to change your life circumstances to be able to devote to eBay and then it's not even guaranteed that you'll be able to pull it off. So that, that can be a really daunting thing. But if you're in a position where you have the opportunity, and for me, it was COVID and it was trying to go through that process of COVID, um, looking into a new job, I had time. Um, that, was a, that was a benefit that I had. There wasn't a lot going on in the world and I could sit there and I could just work on it. And I know that you need to try and find that and that might not be the easiest thing to do and it obviously will be the thing that stops you and stops a lot of people from being full-time sellers. Um, but the ones that are full-time, well, they do have that time to work on it. I also think that many people won't become full-time sellers because they don't want to. And I think that's completely okay. I actually personally am one of those people. I don't want to be a full-time seller. I've got 1,200 items. I'm looking to make 12 sales a day. I've got an average price of $40. That means I'm not ever going to make a full-time income with those goals. Um, so I, I think that's fine too. I think having multiple streams of income is a great way to be an eBay seller. You're not stressed around, oh my God, if this doesn't get sales today, I'm without money. Um, I think that's a really tough place to be in. I think a full-time seller or at least somebody that does it part-time for 20 to 25 hours a week and then they've got something else to spend 20 to 25 hours a week on and together it forms a full-time paycheck. I think that's a really, really nice sweet spot to be in. Multiple streams of income is a must, much, much more stress-free position to be in. So you don't have to be a full-time eBay seller. I know it's a lot of a, a big goal for a lot of people out there and it's not to say that you can't. There's so many people out there that are full-time eBay sellers. Uh, it is a great opportunity that we have in today's world. Um, but for a lot of people out there, they're never gonna become one because they don't wanna be. And I think that's okay too. I would really like to get your thoughts on all of those topics. Is there an area that you're struggling with and you want to become a full-time eBay seller? What's holding you back? And, and do you think that you'll be able to achieve it? Do you think in today's world we can be full-time eBay sellers or is it all just too hard with thrift store prices and, and uh, you know shipping costs going up? So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to jump in and be a part of the discussion. We also hit 30,000 subscribers. Um, so I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are tuning into these videos now and that's so cool. Four years ago when I first made my first video, uh, we didn't have anybody for quite a while. Um, so the fact that you're all here tuning in, I've got to say a massive, massive thank you to you guys. If you get to subscribe, be a part of it. Hit that subscribe button because I've got, I actually have massive plans for this YouTube channel and for you guys as well. Huge plans for you guys. I'm just so passionate about trying to help you guys as eBay sellers. So hit subscribe, be a part of the journey and you'll see all that information soon. But uh, I'll leave you with this video right here. Um, some more education around being an eBay seller and hopefully this video has helped. Hopefully it puts you in the right frame of mind. And uh, yeah, we'll see it selling on eBay soon.